Hi, the objective of this lesson is to tell you what is direction cosine and how to get direction of cosine and bypass the idea of dot product and then finally link to unit vector. Now recall, if you have a three-dimensional vector A which is consists of A1, A2, A3 as a coordinates and then what does it mean? Now we can project this vector A, make an orthogonal projection to the xy plane, and then we make another orthogonal projection to the xy axis again. Then we will find that this value is equal to A1, this is the x A1 and this will be A2 and similarly if you make a orthogonal projection of this vector A to the z-axis then the value will be A3 here. Okay, this is first of all understanding the coordinate system and the orthogonal projection. Now, let's try to understand what is directional cosine here. Given a vector A, which is A1, A2, A3 as coordinate there, then the direction cosine is given by three angle. First, the angle measured from the x-axis to the vector, this is called alpha. The angle measured from the y-axis to the vector is called beta. And, and, the, and the angle measured from the z-axis to the vector is called gamma. And direction cosine basically consists of cosine alpha, cosine beta, and cosine gamma. And this three value actually tell you the direction of the vector. So now how do I find cosine alpha? In this case, you can look at the orthogonal projection of A to the x-axis. So you have a triangle a slanted right angle triangle with the adjacent A1 hypotenuse length of A just like this triangle here then how to find the cosine alpha then we know that cosine alpha is adjacent over hypotenuse which is A1 over length of A now how about cosine beta now in this case if you make an orthogonal projection of this A to the y-axis then you have a slanted right angle triangle adjacent side is A2 the hypotenuse is length of A therefore cosine beta is A2 over the length of A now how about how to find cosine gamma to find cosine gamma you look at the orthogonal projection of A to the z-axis then you have slanted right angle triangle the adjacent side is A3 the longer side is length of A. Therefore, cosine gamma is adjacent over hypotenuse is A3 over the length of A. So this is how you find directional cosine without even going through dot product. Now how do you link to unit vector here? We call that in order to find the unit vector in the direction of A, we draw a A cap. This is actually A divided by the length of A. But then a is actually A1i plus A2j plus A3k. So this is equal to A1 over length of A_i plus A2 over length of A_j plus A3 over length of A_k. And we have already seen that this is actually cosine alpha i plus cosine beta j plus cosine gamma k. And that is the end of the recording.